Hey guys, so you guys are going to be using an online desktop publishing program to make a poster. So the program is called Canva.com and it's like Canvas but without the S. So C A N V A.com. So when you get there, you should see a page that looks like this and you're going to sign up with your school email. So I'm just going to make up a name. We're going to say Carly. Jones. Okay. So if her name was Carly Jones, then her school email would be J O N E S C A R 0 0 at K 12 S F I S D dot org. And then your password is your birthday, but they're not going to let you use that. So we're going to use Carly Jones. So C J. And then her birthday is January 1st, 2007. So 01 01 2007. Okay, so we're going to get started. Then we're going to select student. And we're going to skip this. And then you're going to pick a poster. Okay, they have a lot of templates, but I don't want you to use the template. I want you to design everything from scratch. So you can go over here to photos and you can select a picture to put in it. Elements, which has all sorts of things. There's shapes, lines, charts, grids. So you can click see all and it'll show all of it and then you can close that out. Anytime you see this little crown, that means they're going to charge you money for it. So stick with the things that are free. If you want to put a text box, there's a text option over here. And then you'll select either heading, subheading, or a little body of text. They do have some preset text. Some of them are free. I don't mind if you use those and modify the words. And then over here, you can select a background. They have solid colors, and you can collect the, sorry, select the palette and choose a color from the color grid here. Or you can select a pattern that they already have done. So when you go to put text, I would say that the title of it needs to be a heading. So let's say you make yours over netiquette. And you can make yours over netiquette or internet safety or virtual classroom expectations. I'm sorry for the rattling in the background. My cat is climbing into a bag. I'm sorry. Anyway, so I can change the background. And then if I want to add another text box, I would make it the smaller text. And you can use this to move it around. You can double click in it. You can change the color. The, whether it's bold or not, you can make it italic. You can change the size of the font. You can change the style of the font. And there's other effects. And you can just kind of play around with that. <clears throat> so when you get finished with it, make sure you have a title up here. You're going to click Share. You're going to copy link. Then you're going to go back to Canvas and the assignment that says Canva poster. You're going to click that link. Oh, you know what? I have to go back. Sorry, guys. I need to be in student view. So from student view. Let me try this again. Sorry about that. I'll go to Canva poster and I'll click submit assignment and it should be selected for website URL so I'm going to click in this box and control V to paste and then click submit assignment okay let me know if you have any questions this is your favorite robo nerd